Hey everybody, welcome back. Been having a great time with the Weekly so far this week. You know, I, I, I wouldn't say we've knocked it out of the park. But what I would say is at, at a minimum, we haven't had too many stinkers. I'd be like a grumpy hipster. Oh, they forgot my barbecue sauce in my chicken McNuggets. Listen to yourself. So entitled. I ordered a big Mac McChicken and they give me a Big Mac beef. Brother, it's all... The, the, I guess the joke is hipsters going to McDonald's. I was trying to add a joke within a joke. I don't uh, fully understand where I... Somebody cooked here, okay? That's all I'm trying to say is somebody cooked here. Let's just add another unit. This is not my favorite squad. The, the upshot of this, the upshot is that we're going to have 5 HP guaranteed. The negative shot... Actually, we're going to have 5 HP and a win. Holy cow. The negative shot is we don't have early levels. But then the upshot of not having early levels... ...is that all the units at this stage of the game suck anyway. So, who cares? <laughs> if anything, uh, pivoting... Right, like running just good stats and then pivoting to good units later might be part of the meta this week. The, the off-proposed but never actually formally discovered... Um, third style of meta. Oh, yes. The pivot meta. I don't know if we're on pivot meta. I definitely know we're on elephant triceratops meta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, an early level here just because I, I like what that does for my team. I'm also gonna give you some broccoli. How about this? You guys like Sean Mullins? It's, you probably will not know this song unless you're my age, but uh, everything is gonna be alright. Broccoli. The joke is that in this version of the song, Sean Mullins doesn't know that it's pronounced broccoli. What do you think? Has that got any legs? Nope. I'm being told to. I'm being told, "Boo, get off the stage." We'll definitely take a deer. We'll definitely take a sea lion. Just because those are, uh, those are just good units. Quite frankly, we don't lose the free reroll. Don't debase yourself, okay? I know you're gonna debase yourself. You're gonna say you lost your free reroll. The marmoset has been in the game too long for for us to still continuously make the same error, okay? We gotta be we gotta be stronger individuals. We gotta be smarter individuals. I don't remember the rest of the song. You gotta be, you gotta be tough. You gotta be some. You gotta be who? You gotta be who? You gotta be who, who, who? You know what I'm talking about? Well, I'll tell you. I would love to buy something from the shop, but that would require there to be something worth buying. Instead, I'm paying filet mignon prices for garden salads. I must be in Yale Town. It's not a dig at Yale Town. If you if you reside in Yale Town in Vancouver, I'm not trying to take a shot at you or your district. I I enjoy Yale Town. Good brunches. Good bridges. There's a lot of bridges around there for sure. Well, skunk me here. Pass on a dragonfly. Make you want a dragon cry. Pass on two dragonflies. Don't find yourself dragon surprised that you're not doing very well. And then, I'm not going to run two deers. I mean, we're in a dangerous period here. It's round seven. I would say we have some good units, but we don't have good stats. This team's gonna eat me alive. Never mind, maybe it's not. Maybe our skunk did enough. Never mind, it is. Our skunk did not do enough, but it still did more than anybody else, so thank you, skunk. Okay, put me on the top of the loser's bracket. We gotta make some plays here. I don't think that's gonna do it for us. Okay, I don't... Just let me live so I can at least have the... Because, like, it, if we get chocolate on our next round, we could have levels 1, 2, and 3, and then our dragonflies don't seem so stupid. They got sharks, though, man. They got sharks with freaking laser beams on there, and I'm gonna lose my life. Please. No, we're toast. I see it already. Okay, so I, I jinxed myself. We do indeed have, um... We do indeed have a stinker. I hate... The crazy thing is I didn't feel like that one was that bad. If anything, maybe we did our pivot a little bit too early. We traded stats for specs. Give me a nefarious hat. There were a few. The dunce cap. 
Can you believe that the dunce cap used to be a real thing? I know we've been doing the... That one hurts. I've said this on stream before recently, but the dunce cap, if you're not familiar, is a hat that you uh, were forced to wear in school if you did something stupid. And the hat basically is like, hey, everybody laugh at this guy. They're stupid. Um, so it's, it's basically public humiliation. It's so um, unethical, immoral, in bad taste, whatever, that in the heyday of uh, the late 1800s, even back then, when they had like ch children working in mines and stuff like that, there was a public outcry to outlaw the dunce cap and the use of the dunce cap. Do you know how effed up, to put it politely, your school punishment has to be for someone in like the year 1891 to be like, now that's too far? I bet back then you still had people that had like, you know, you know, just, I'm trying to think of the way to describe it. There were like people who grew up as street urchins and bore the scars of that period of their life and they were still like writing letters to the editor. I grew up with a dunce cap and I'm just fine. I live with a hundred pet rats under someone's house. I'm not trying to insult the rats, okay? I'm trying to insult the institutions. I'm putting the system on trial. By the way, I think that uh, as of right now, we're definitely trending towards the rare zero game win. <laughs> but maybe we'll find a unit that, that changes our trajectory. I mean, this one seems like it might do a little bit more. I Hang on, I think we might be there. Just when I thought you couldn't be any stupider, you go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself. A dragonfly. How about this one? You guys like Sean Mullins? Everything is going to be all right. Dragonfly. You have to go. But no, no, no. You have to go because at least you two can both inherit buffs. You can come out here. I'd love you to get to tier 3 just to make our uh, dragonfly better. I'm going crazy mode. I'm going to try to get you off the ground with some garlic. Because now you're guaranteed to get the buff from the dragonfly. I mean, I'm... I got one win and all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, you know what? Four squatted. That could work here. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a very strong lad. Yeah, okay, you got, fair enough, you got me, buddy. Well, you gotta admit, I had you going for a second there. Stats me. Yes. You know what, Baboon is perfect, and if it steals the buff from the Dragonfly, at least it pays the buff forward. Hi, Tomo. How you doing, buddy? You've been a little bit more chilled out lately. I just wanted to say I appreciate it. Just no, I'm not trying to be a hater, Tomo. I'm just. Do you, you want to come out? Do you want to? You have to use the bathroom. Okay, here you go. I'll tell you what. I'll get you. I'll get you ready to go there. You're free. Not a big porcupine guy, although a porcupine causing some damage reflection to an elephant. You got me, you got me curious on this. I'm at least going to give him a chance. I know that we could do something with the donut, but that would require me to know what I'm trying to do in general. So I'm thinking that this, it looks like this for now. And we could buff a tier 4, then a tier 5, then a tier 6 indefinitely. Good reflection. You really thought you were cooking something there, huh? It really blows me away when I go up against squads and like they're, every single one of their units is stronger than every single one of my units. Because it's like, what the heck was I doing, man? Okay, honestly, you gotta go at this point. We're, we're all in on trying to make this guy work. We're on two life. You gotta make a decision, man. And this is like a nice 1-1 buff for everybody. 
So what, we got a 915, we got an 1118 porcupine that's gonna keep getting buffed. We wanna get another baboon and a tier five, buff the tier five, and then hopefully get a tier six out there at some point. If we live long enough for tier sixes to come into the game. <laughs> It pains me, pains me a great deal. That's nice, I appreciate that. You need to level a tier six. It's a beautiful thing, a tier six. And you didn't give me a tier five. So you know what, we're gonna embrace that the, the baboon's not gonna be doing a whole heck of a lot here. Um, I can't believe the order that I've got my squad in. Oh no, that's right, he's buffing the monkey at least. I can't believe that we've got our walrus like guaranteed to give death touch to not one of our strongest units, but what is this team? Oh my God, it almost beat me. The team of five birds almost beat me. If there's ever been uh, a measure of how bad your run is going, I would say that's gotta be it right there. You're a tier six that could take some buffs. It's just an interesting thing to think about. I don't know. I'm hoping we're just king of the dung heap, man. It's the best we could root for right now. If this team has a shark, they clear us easy. They may still clear us, but there's going to be some work involved. Oh, no. No, 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 no! We had nothing, man. We got nothing. Okay, cockroach is fine. Marma said, ladybug is, it, we could do better. Uh, that's not better, but whatever. We got two of them. It would be an overpriced cake. Uh, you know what is an overpriced cake in my world? Uh, any cake, because I don't really like cake that much. You're going to say minus two? You know how I reply to that? You can't minus two personal tastes like that. I know you could take that to the extreme. What if my personal uh, opinion was that like, you know, one plus one equals two. Well then, or sorry, it was one plus one equals three. Well then, you could fire me from Iron Man 2 and replace me with Don Cheadle, okay? But apart from that, there, we have something in this country, which is America, even though I live in Canada, that's called free speech. The internet, of course, is American because it was invented by Al Gore. In that case, I do believe I have the First Amendment right to be wrong and never be criticized for it. So, put that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm going, um, I'm going economics build here. You wouldn't understand it. It goes to another school. We're at two wins already. That's great news. Now, I, I'm not holding out a, a ton of hope that we're gonna, um, my, my money, let's go. I'm not holding out a ton of hope that we're gonna keep that going, but look at that, we did keep that going. We don't need a level three iguana. Maybe we'd feel differently if we were going for like um, uh, dragonfly, but how do we know? Now I'm, I'm trying to see if there's any faint triggers. There are, but they don't really show up until later, unless we're talking about a cricket. Take, take me out of here. I, I don't even know how to use that screen. So I'm not thinking that the wombat is that valuable. I'm not thinking you're that valuable. I'm thinking we could always give meat to a weasel, so it hopefully one for ones. And then I'm thinking, we could, at the very least, go half seas on a dodo. Like, we'll go one little toe in the water. See, there's your problem with your salamander build right there, is you gotta, you gotta have something backing her up. You can't just put it up at the front and then trade with a, with a level one moth. It's a, it hurts you. I don't even know if there's lollipops this week. There are not. Baboon would buff a weasel. It's not nothing, and our iguana is kind of useless. Not going to go double meat. Not going to go dog or puppy. I've been getting the puppy and the dog confused. I don't think you could really blame me. Now that I think about a weasel puppy. Weasel puppy, man. Was at the start of battle, though. I'm snoozing on that one. <laughs> I sleep. Give me that for now, and please, I'm just, I'm begging the baboon to buff you. Oh! Don't! Stop me, cause I'm having a good time. Trying to loop it back to the Sean Mullins joke. I'm a shooting star. Da -da -da -da. Like Lady Broccoli. That's a, it didn't connect, but at least we kept the 
audio flowing. Give me. This is huge. This is actually enormous. You should leave the squad. You should join the squad. You should join this. No, you should not join the squad yet. Not my favorite role of all time. We have actual genuine scaling coming out here and a very reasonable chance to have a level three weasel, which could springboard us into like a seven or eight win game, which is it. That's all it would take for me to be happy, man. I don't need much in this world. I don't even care if we're losing this one, okay, to Don Shella. We're, we're going to be on three life. That's more than enough for me to impress or embarrass myself. Level me. Crocodile is just crazy. Fitted onto the squad. Obviously, our baboon's not doing anything right now. I really wanted to see a, a weasel. Baboon is useless. Thank you so much. That's, that was necessary. It was a necessary part of the equation. The baboon can get sold next time. Keep the dragonfly around for now. And we're, we're going big weasel, man. We got to sell a level one. It'll be the baboon. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're starting to piece something together here. A little too late, but uh, you know, two life is more than enough. Uh, one life, zero life is more than enough for me to start making something happen. Would very much desire... Um, is kind of, it's hilarious to think of swallowing this weasel and then spitting out another one, but we can't afford the, the hit to our stats. Obviously, you got to go at some point, too, but we need another, like, a good unit to hit level two in order for me to feel good about that trade. Come on, give me something good! Okay, we're, we're sticking with the snail for a turn, then. That's, that's fantastic. Okay, two dragonflies with a couple of non-losses. We could start building some momentum here. Level one weasel? Pathetic. I, this is why they can't let me win, because I just become like uh, malevolent. Absolute power be, uh, corrupts absolutely. How about something, you know what? You could go level two crocodile, and then you could sell the moth and add in another unit. Obviously you could also go level two dragonfly, but everything is gonna be all right. Dragonfly, sell the moth, run the pteranodon and now i'm like we're we got more gold than we know what to do with man because when the weasel dies it doesn't trigger like a level one again right aren't we gonna have 16 gold if the weasel that what you got an equally a strong weasel i don't even know what's happening but i think i might be freaking rich <laughs> I think I might be loaded. And we won. 16 gold! Chocolate! You're gonna go level two. But I definitely want um, the, I was just gonna say, I want the Pteranodon to go level two as well. I mean, more, th three more gold per turn also seems great. But also great is more stats on like almost everybody on the squad. So let's, just remember, stats, they, they don't go out of style, man. Stats don't go out of style. Take some buffs just because we're, we're here. I mean, you could probably, well, I don't know. We'll talk about, I don't know. Two dragonflies is pretty good. We don't need to sack that just for a cow. This is the most stats I've ever had on, like, turn 10 in my entire life. I actually feel like there's there's a shot, which is how you know we're, we're getting into trouble. Because now I'm starting to believe. Hope keeps a man alive. But as Malf says, I think it's a, uh, it's a Shawshank Redemption quote because it's his favorite movie. Hope can also become a prison. I don't really remember the whole quote, but it's something along those lines. Level two. Works. Oh, it's it only works on faint pets twice? I thought it would work on the same pet twice. No! Okay, well, we could add a fainter. We could add a tiger. We might as well just keep buying you. Just like... Why? I don't know, because we already got him. <laughs> We're looking for good fainting abilities. I mean, we could just we could move a dragonfly and put in a deer, but like two level one buses, I kind of snooze it a little bit. 
Everybody getting a level 3 is kind of bad for the squad overall as well, because it screws up our dragonflies. But like, we are... I think we have some inefficiencies in our game, but we also are making six extra gold per turn right now, so it's kind of hard to be like upset with it. Like we bought two things and we're still... We're, I mean, we bought three things and we're at six gold. It's really good. I'm still, I'm just, I'm, I'm buffing. I'm buffing, I'm just gonna buff you for now. At this point, I, I do feel like we can kind of head empty it, but maybe I'm wrong, I, I don't know. Like, this does seem like a weekly to me where you can do quite a lot of damage just with good stats, but. The great thing about this run too is like, it's not just upside in battle. Like we get six, we get 60% extra purchasing power per run, holy bursh. You have no reason to be level three, except that I'm pretty sure I've never gotten a level three ten piece with you. So we got to prioritize you first. Holy cow. <laughs> um, I understand that our dragonflies are not going to be that useful anymore, but the squad do be looking kind of crazy, right? The doobie looking a little nutty. You can't kill me with a single... With a single skunk like that. You can kill me with your best superior squad, though. Oh, no. We might not go to 10. <laughs> got me pretty good there. You got me pretty good. You know what would be nice? A walrus would go crazy. I'm holding out for a walrus. We got so much money, we should at least buy buffs, but... A walrus. You shouldn't have. Why a walrus? Because the Tyranodon will then pass the walrus's death touch on one extra time. And we gotta imagine that there's a chance we make it out of this round, so that's why we're planning for the future. So you're saying there's a chance. It could give it to the same unit. That would be disappointing. They got double skunks, but that it doesn't seem that catastrophic. It's not that catastrophic at all. Okay, we go to nine. Now you're going to put four death touch back. And there's a small chance we could get you to put six. Should obviously be a little overkill. <laughs> Just anything. PETA, I don't think is going to do it, but like... It's probably one of the better things to buy when you only got one, one purchase incoming. Actually, every I think that Death Touch like does prioritize based on not having equipment already. Maybe not. Maybe it's just been happenstance. But I feel like it definitely looked like it did there at the very least. Okay, this team was a little crazy. We may not have ever had a level three Weasel ten piece either. But we definitely, we got the job done. Maybe a little bit of shop luck was involved. That's another, like, completely unique 10-piece for me. And we, we kind of won that one, like, with bells on, right? Like, that was, that's a pretty good-looking squad for this weekly. For now, though, ooh, two badges. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There will be more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!